I am Bethany Wood and I am a glass artist. So the titles for these pieces are Molten Landscapes. The colour comes first um, and the texture gets built up upon the colours. So for example I'll choose a landscape like this paint an arrangement and then I'll have that in front of me whilst making the piece. How do you know when it's finished? Sometimes um, I go over the top, sometimes I'll overdo it and, uh, and the piece comes out and I just think why did I just do that last colour? Why did I put it on? Because as soon as you do something wrong then you know that's, that's that piece, that's that time wasted. Um, I guess it's just feeling really by stepping back uh, having a good assistant which will look after the piece of work for you where you can step back and actually look at it so then you can decide if you need to put another layer on or if that's that's the end. So this black is a mist tint it was one which was made incorrectly um, because it reduced so much. It's almost like metal. Isn't it? Yeah like a matte steel colour and that's only where the colour is directly exposed. So this is the black with the clear over the top and this is where the bubble burst so it exposes the colour when when I reduce it. Okay. This is a this is another example of it. Uh, you can see here, you can see it's got a really matte satin effect. Compared to the shiny black, I think it's a really nice contrast. So just turning it around, I'll just show you the dichroic glass that I use as well. This gets encased in clear. One of the developments I'm looking at is scale. So I want to make big pieces. This is a molten mini. It's about 16 centimeters high. <laughs> these molten miniatures are for sale and these small um, molten landscapes are for sale at Blowfish Glass. And Blowfish Glass is an online gallery run by myself. Uh, an artist-led gallery where I sell lots of artists' glasswork. Thank you.